Good day Kafalcos, this is your Medic Rio and at this time I am going to share with you some ideas on what we do during confined space rescue drill. I will focus on my roles as rig medic and will provide only bits of information about the other parts. Confined space as defined by Opito is any space of an enclosed nature where there is a risk of death or serious injury from hazardous substances or dangerous conditions within the space or nearby. It is a space that is large enough and so configured that a person can bodily enter and perform assigned work and has limited or restricted means for entry or exit and is not designed for continuous human occupancy. The best example of a confined space on the rig is the tank. We have water tank, cement tank, and mud tanks to mention. To put on record, each Saudi Aramco contractor develops its own confined space rescue plan. Definitely, the plan should be in accordance with the standards set for instance by Opito or Offshore Petroleum Industry Training Organization and many other organizations which develop globally accepted guidelines for the oil and gas industry. Moving forward, let us start the drill. One crew will do a public announcement through paging system and or plus radio call. Man down! Man down! Mud tank area! Man down! Mud tank! Once the medic hears the announcement, I respond to it through PA or radio. This is medic man down acknowledged. I am on my way. Wearing complete PPE, I will go to the IP location with my emergency response bag and portable oxygen resuscitator. Then the ambulance driver also will drive the ambulance at the nearest possible area from the victim's location in the event that I as a medic call for a medivac or medical evacuation. Upon arrival at the area, there's a rescue team tasked to rescue or take the IP from that confined area. This team has undergone confined space rescue training because confined space rescue is not just a typical rescue. There are many important points to consider such as the equipment to be used, for example, what they call tripod, gas detectors, and SCBAs, among others. Gas detectors are needed basically to check on the levels of hazardous gases, if there is any, within that confined space. Otherwise, rescuers will be in danger when they enter into that area without prior gas checking. Once the IP is taken out from the confined space, in this case, a mud tank, the medic does the quick assessment following the BLS guidelines. Unless patient's condition is given prior or during the drill, medic could create any particular scenario regarding patient's health status. Of course, in my case, I usually present an uncomplicated scenario, such as patient has breathing and pulse but still unconscious. Therefore, a medivac is needed. All these health data from the assessment will be relayed to the highest authority available on the location, which is the Saudi Aramco foreman. He will then give permission to evacuate the IP. After which, I instruct the rescue team to do the proper securing and bring the patient to the ambulance. With lights and alarm on, the ambulance departs and stops at the gate or depending on the instruction given. Everyone involved gathers and a post-drill meeting will be conducted, highlighting both the strength and weaknesses of the performed drill. Then the drill ends. 
There you have it, Kafalcos, a very summarized presentation. If you have questions, please let us know on the comment section. Thank you and see you next time! Thank you.